Also available from Jim Henson Video. Say cheese! Now you're next to see something wild. Something wacky. Something green. It's the Muppets. And they can be yours to keep on video. I shall accept nothing less. So hold on tight for a video adventure that's unlike any other. Wonderful. Uh, spectacular. Because they're larger than life, they're the Muppets. What? I said the Muppets. You are all weirdos. Okay, stand by. Here we go. Kermit and the irrepressible Miss Piggy are heading to Hollywood in the Muppet movie. Are you kidding me? That's always been my dream. Come share this unforgettable adventure. Me! Don't miss out on all the outrageous fun in the Muppet movie. That'll be all for now. Get in on the hilarious fun as the Muppets turn London upside down in the great Muppet caper. Miss Piggy stole my necklace. Miss Piggy has been framed. Sorry, Miss Piggy, we'll get you out of this. And only Kermit, Gonzo and Fozzie can prove she's innocent. Oh, I'll be stuck in the big house for life. It's a jolly good time, the great Muppet caper. That took a lot out of me. What's the best way to tickle your funny bone? Watching the Muppets. Did you see that? Who did the best show in the world out of all the shows hosted by Frog? Moots, moots, moots. <laughs> I just love your eyes. Oh, they're like, like two ping pong balls floating in a pond of green algae. It's entertainment that will make your day. You think this show constitutes cruelty to animals? Not unless you're watching it. It's classic. It's crazy. Ah! Don't worry, it's all part of the act. It's the Muppets. You know, I really like that. Yep. Join our distinguished host. Hi ho, Kermit the Frog here. And some very wild life. Frog! Frog! That is what we really do best. In the Muppets sing along. So you like to sing? Yeah! Oh, good. Then come and join us. Rabbit, crop, beanie, crop, rabbit, That's great. Rabbit, 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 rabbit. I really love that song. So tap along and rap along. Have fun with the Muppets Sing Along, starring Billy Bunny. So much fun, we don't want to stop it. You sounded good, too. Are you sure you're not a frog? The Muppets on video. Once you start your collection... Let's go for it. You won't want to stop. Very popular choice. With Kermit, Gonzo, and Miss Piggy, and bring home the most outrageous fun your family will ever have. All right, you talked me into it. There'll be more news about the magical new releases from Walt Disney Home Video coming up after the film. This is the best idea we've had in years. Christmas at my mother's farm. Sounds great, Fozzie, but don't you think we should have called your mother to let her know we were coming? Oh, how little you understand bears, Kermit. My mother loves surprises. Good thing she's in for beauty. Surprise, surprise! You see, I know what she is doing this very second. There she is in the old farmhouse on the snowy hill, nice and cozy, by a roaring fire. Oh, the Christmas decorations will be up, and Ma will be in her rocking chair, knitting, and feeling just a little sad that she's all alone for the holidays. Pillow, 
plane leaves for California in three hours. Ho, ho, Christmas in Malibu. Oh, I'm going to lie on the beach and catch some rays. Waka waka. Oh, this is going to be such a surprise. Pull out the holly. Turn on the brightest string of lights we've ever seen. Slice up the fruitcake. It's time he hung some tinsel on that evergreen bough. Yes, the airline ticket, my suntan lotion. Come in. Hello, is this Grizzly Farm? Oh, you must be the renter. Come in, come in. Yes, yes, I'm Doc. Are you my landlady? Ooh. No, Sprocket, I didn't know I was renting from a bear. Oh, oh, mind your step. Be careful, there's an icy patch there. Oh, I'm just so glad there's someone going to be staying in the house while I'm gone. Yes, well, well, Sprocket and I, he's my dog, Sprocket, we're certainly delighted to be renting the place. We've been wanting to spend a nice, quiet Christmas in the country. You've come to the right place. Now put your things in the bedroom at the top of the Thank stairs. You. Now, who could that be? Ta-da! Merry Christmas! Son! Mom! Ah! Oh, it's so good to see uh, you. Well, well, what the... A uh, uh, surprise? No, no, the real surprise is I brought all my friends with me. What? Oh, Merry oh, Christmas! Oh, careful yes, the icy patch. Yeah, yeah, it's oh, it's oh, it's oh, Hey, 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 what? aren't you glad to see us all? Well, I should say. Excuse me, Miss Bear. Remember me? I rented this place to have a nice, quiet Christmas. Peace on Earth! Give me present! Oh, 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 be careful, Sprocket. These could be from some foreign planet. Actually, they're from television. I recognize Fozzie's weirdo friends. Yeah, we're proud of it, too. <laughs> Why am I here? Tell me, Sprocket, are these anything like these fraggles you keep telling me about? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Mom, 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 I want you to meet someone. This is my boss, my friend, my inspiration, oh. the one who gave me my big break in the show business, Kermit. Oh, yeah, the lizard. Uh, uh, well, Frog, actually. Uh, listen, Mrs. Bear, you know, I know there are an awful lot of us here. Oh, and don't so I just... you worry about it. There's plenty of room for everybody. Excuse me. You promised me a nice, quiet, Christmas. You think you're disappointed? I just took three months of surfing lessons for zip. Telephone! Telephone! Uh, uh, that's just animal. <laughs> hello, hello, hello! Give sure me a present! You welcome me. Oh, pig. Uh, hello? Uh, piggy? Kimmy, my dear Cher, it's you! Uh, yes, Piggy, it's me. Hey, listen, where are you? You were supposed to come up to the farmhouse with us. Oh, oh I know, Kermie, but I forgot about the teensy-weensy photo session I just scheduled. <laughs> okay, now give me more over the shoulder, honey. Hold it. Uh, well, well, hurry up. Do not worry so, my little green hunk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, couldn't be nicer. Thank you. My, my chauffeur, Jerome, is ready to whisk me away into your arms at the farmhouse. Uh -huh. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I must go now. I'm rather busy. Can we see you soon? Mm, OK, bye. Kissy, kissy. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 now do that pouty thing. Oh, yes. Do that pouty thing. Oh, oh, fabulous. <laughs> you find more bedrooms up the stairs. But those are our bedrooms. We rented this place. <laughs> Not more. Fuzzy, get that door. Okay, Mom. Up the stairs. Up the stairs. Swedish chef. Layla, you. Oh. 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 
Watch out for that icy patch there. Yo, King is first to give it all the gobble 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 turkey. Oh, you mean you're here to cook the Christmas turkey for all Yeah, them. yeah. Let's go to the kitchen. <laughs> Now, where did my little chicky poo Camilla get to? Ah, oh, I'll get it. <laughs> yes? Oh, my dear. You're a turkey. Of course. Uh, come on outside. We gotta talk. And then the chicken and the coochie. We're, we're sure that there are rats and chickens here. We always have rats and chickens. Listen, you're in the wrong place at the wrong time now. Take a walk. Fly south for the winter. Anything. Uh, I was invited for Christmas by some guy who spoke Swedish. Oh, brother. Got a white chef's hat on. Sounds like a nice vacation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Listen, that guy is a chef. Don't you realize it could be very dangerous for turkeys around here? Not to worry. I'm a survivor. <laughs> Now, where's my room? If you're not careful, it'll be in the oven. So long, bucko. <laughs> See you at dinner. Uh, what seems to be the trouble, Fuzzy? Well, 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 the chef is a little bit angry because of all the rats and chickens in his kitchen. Uh, well, how about we send him to his bedroom instead? Oh, yeah, chicken and the rat and the bunkska bunkska. Oh. All right, let's go. Come on, head him out. Okay. Yeah, go up to the bedroom, up to the bedroom. Yes, here we go, guys. Another crisis solved. Boy, there sure are a lot of us here. Well, whole family is starting to come together. We always come together at Christmas. Yeah, life was just passing a blur if it weren't for times like this. Hmm? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell swing and jingle bell ring. Snowing and blowing up bushels of fun. Now the jingle hop has begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Yeah. Jingle bells chime in jingle bell time. Boom. Dancing and prancing in jingle bell square. Rock. In the frosty air. What a bright time, it's the right time to rock the night away. All right. Jingle bell. Pick up your feet, jingle around the clock. Mix and mingle in a jingling beat. That's the jingle bell rock. Oh, Oh, that's gonna be a terrific Christmas tree. Just bring it inside, guys. Thanks. Yo, Fuzzy, I finally made it. Hey, Ralph, welcome. Are you late? Yeah, I've been chasing the truck all the way, and boy, am I exhausted. <laughs> oh, I get a truck exhaust. That's funny. Yeah, that's a dog joke. Oh, go inside and tell Mom that. Gotcha. Yeah, she loves canine humor. OK, boys, put it over there in the corner. Come on, Doc, let's get this holly up here. Uh, oh, Mrs. Bear, hmm? I've been chasing the truck, and boy, whoop! Oh. oh, my. I guess Fozzie didn't tell you about the icy patch. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess he didn't. Anyhow, my name's Ralph the dog. I come for the holidays. More? More people? <sighs> I'll go out and see if there's a spare pillow in the kennel. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> Woof, woof! Yeah, bark, bark! Oh, Don't yeah. you just hate it when you can't woof, speak woof, woof. the language? Mm -hmm. Aha! Just what I was looking for. Look at this little beauty. Whoa, boy, is this piano out of tune? I love out of tune pianos. Just hear those sleigh bells jingling, ring, ching, jingling, too. Out here it's lovely weather for a bear and a snowman like you. Out here the snow is falling and friends are calling you. Ah, come on, it's lovely weather for a bear and a snowman like you. Hey, 
right, that's pretty good harmony for a snowman. Actually, I'm a snowman. What's a snowman? Nothing's a snowman. What's a snow with you? Ah. <laughs> There's a Christmas party at the home of Fozzie Bear. It'll be a perfect party with my friends all there. We'll, we'll be singing, singing the songs, songs we love, love to sing without a single stop. At the fireplace while we watch the chestnuts pop, 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 pop. But seriously, Fuzzy, what do you think of the weather we're having? It's so cold. How cold is it? It's so cold that when I opened my refrigerator this morning, there was a polar bear inside trying to keep warm. <laughs> but it's always cold at Christmas. Ah, uh, Christmas. Time for Santa Claus and his eight prancing reindeer. That's reindeer. No. That's snow, darling! Ah! <laughs> Out here the snow is falling and friends are calling you. Yeah. Come on, it's lovely weather for a Christmas together with you! Ah. <laughs> Man, you guys are the funniest comedy teams in the business! Oh, really? Thank you, thank you. Another one. Thank Stay you. right where you are! Come in! Come in! Come on! Come on, where are you? In the kitchen, Fozzie. Oh, I got some wonderful news! Oh, come on, come on, come on. Let me tell you about this new act I found. I, you know, I listened to this. I'm listening. I, yeah, I was outside building a snowman. Just a second. And, uh, oh, come on, wait, wait, wait. Come on, see. Hello, Emily Bears residence. Oh. This is Kermit the Frog. Oh, hi, Piggy. Show you no welcome, me. I just wanted to tell you I have an itsy bit of Christmas shopping to do before I come out to the farmhouse. But, Piggy, tonight's Christmas Eve. Uh, not never you fear, dear. I shall be there soon. Ta-ta! Ooh! Green fuzzy flipper slippers. Oh, divine. Have them gift wrapped. <laughs> Come on, come on. Now, now, can I tell you about my new act? I'm all ears. Well, what can that be? What do you mean he's all ears? Frogs don't even have ears. This is my dog Sprocket. He is not a Christmas turkey. The smack a gobble gobble fair for news. I don't care if the turkey says the dog is a turkey. The dog is not the turkey. The turkey's the turkey. You turkey. Come on, Sprocket. The smack a gobble gobble goofy woofy. <laughs> this is starting to be fun. <laughs> Whoa, speaking of fun, hey, Mom, how you doing? Hey, Kermit, look what I have. It's home movies. I found this old film in the closet. It's the very first Christmas the Muppets ever spent together. Ooh. Great, I haven't seen that film in years. Turn off the lights and roll the film. It's Miss Ham Hocks, when she was just a little sausage roll. Ah, it's coming to town. Ah, it's not the and Jack Ned White. You were still in diapers in those days. Ma. It's coming to town. Oh, look, there's Ralph when he was a wee puppy. Not so wee. I was paper trained. <laughs> Some little devil I was. Oh, animal. Oh, animal. Yep, some things never change. Oh, that was fun. Even weirdos are cute when they're babies. I knew you'd learn to love us. I didn't say that. What's that? <laughs> I tell you, Chicken Little, you're my kind of poultry. Ah. Camilla, what's going on here? Ooh, you got some drumsticks there, my fine feathered mama. Uh -huh. but, but Camilla's my girlfriend. You gotta be kidding. You're not even a bird. Well, nobody's perfect. Come on, Henny Penny. Let's me and you go out to the farmyard for a little friendly scratching and squawking. Oh, oh, all right, uh, cut that, does it? Let me at him. I'm gonna rip off his uh, waddle. You and what other nerds? Come on, put up your wings, turkey uh, toes. Why, you're pulling my leg, uh, hose nose. Well, I'll be pulling your, your wishbone, cranberry breath. Uh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah! yeah. Mark! What do I hear? You hear me about to make some turkey hash. I no, no, listen. 
Me thinks me hears carolers. Here we come a caroling among the leaves so green. Here we come a wandering so fair to be seen. Love and joy come to you, and to you glad tidings too. And God bless you and send you a happy new year. And God send you a happy new year. It's the Sesame Street gang. Merry Christmas from Sesame Street. Merry Christmas. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. La 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. La 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 la. Then we now are gay apparel. La 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 la. Troll the ancient Yuletide carol. La 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 la. Okay, Ernie, you're next. See the blazing Yule before us. La 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 la. Strike the harp and join the chorus. La 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 la. I will not sing this song. La 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 la. While I count the Yule thy treasure. La 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 la. Your turn, Harry Monster. That's the way the old year passes. La 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 la. Hail the new ye lads and lasses. La 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 la. Sing the joyous song together. La 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 la. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. It's the season to be jolly. La 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 well, Doc, you know what this means? Sprocket and I will have to give up our hammock in the attic, right? Either that or Bill bunk beds in the broom closet. Sprocket, go get me a hammer, will you? Oh, hi there. Hey, we're Ernie and Bert. Yeah. Well, hi there yourself. I'm Doc. Oh, did you know that Doc starts with the letter D? Why, yes. Yes, yes starts with the letter Y. Yeah. True. And true starts with the letter D. Hey, what is this? Where we come from, this is small talk. <laughs> Whatever you say. Well, it's nice to meet you, but I've got to go and build some bunk beds. Bunk, bunk beds. beds. C words. Ah. Hey, 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 no, 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 you got me wrong. I'm a dairy cow. Mm. No, 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 do best birdie. Hey, uh, all right, OK, I'm, I'm, I'm a birdie. I'm a birdie. I'm a seagull, all right? No, no, right. no, gobbler, gobbler. Uh, OK, all right, I admit it, I admit it. The jig is up. Here I am, the Christmas turkey. Eat Tosca Snoo. Ow! Hey, watch it there, will you? <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, I recognize it now. This is the, this is the traditional fitting, right? To see if the roasting pan is big enough for the nice fat bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gobbler, <sighs> gobbler, torkey, fitsky, whitsky. <laughs> of course, uh, before we go any further, mm -hmm. uh, there is one thing I think you should see. New Miss Christmas gobble gobble snooze. If you think I'm a nice fat bird, look at this! Oh, York! Loose the gobble gobble humongo! Ain't it the truth? <laughs> hey, everyone, quiet down. There's a bulletin on TV. And now for this news flash the worst blizzard in 50 years is approaching us at a great rate. The Weather Service reports that barometers are falling sharply. Oh, no! <laughs> He's right! Look at the snow! One snowflake, two snowflakes, but three snowflakes. Miss Piggy's out there in that storm. Five, six. All right, the huge canary sleeps in the attic with the cookie eater. Check. The blue monster said he'd sleep in the bathtub. Check. And uh, Ernie and Bert will bunk out with a lizard here. Uh, uh frog, uh, Kermit the Frog. Uh, what about Oscar? No, I'll be nicely miserable with my trash can here. <clears throat> hey, maybe I could bunk out here with you. Uh, I never had a rat in my trash can before. That might be nice. <laughs> hey, everybody, look what I've got. Christmas cookies. Cookies. Oh, thank you. Who was that strange blue creature? That my kind of fella. Ah. Hey, everybody, it's time to rehearse our Sesame Street pageant. It's called was the night before Christmas. 
Come on out, Bert. I won't. Come on, Bert. Hi, please don't make me. Oh, Bert, listen, everybody's waiting. <laughs> Ernie, why must you always humiliate me? Come on, Bert. Somebody has to play Mama, and you lost the toss. All right, well, just get it over with. Okay. <laughs> Twas the Night Before Christmas by Clement Moore. Hit it, Rolf. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Cue the mouse! I'm here! I'm here! Cue the mouse! mouse is here! What's a ball for? Oh, uh, so you can see that I am not stirring. Note how the hand never touches the spoon. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you, public! Thank you! Thank you! Aren't they adorable? See, no, hey, don't um, encourage not them. Not even a mouse. Uh -huh. Mama in her kerchief. That's you, Bert. I know, I know. And I and my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. Went out on the lawn there and rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Open a curtain! <laughs> Monsters? Is reindeer? This is crazy. And uh, where's Santa Claus? Oh, don't worry, Bert. We're getting to him. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. Hello! <laughs> There's nothing sacred. Now, oh, wait a minute. Now, who let the two-headed monster be Santa Claus? Yeah, but Bertie said he'd never been in a play before. I mean, oh. they said it. Uh, both of them said it. Uh, just go to the big finish, will you, please? Okay, but I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight. Sorry to break up your fun in here, but have you folks seen the weather? There's a real storm out there. Oh, Lordy, I haven't seen a sky like that since a blizzard of 41. I tell you, Mr. Lizard, it's a good thing all your friends are safe and warm inside the farmhouse. Yeah, but all my friends are not safe and warm. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. It's cold enough out there to freeze your Winnebago. Hello? Hello, Kermie. I finished my shopping. Unfortunately, Jerome got the limo stuck in the snowbank. <laughs> so I'll just have to catch a taxi to the farmhouse. Listen, Piggy, there's a terrible storm outside, and I really think it's too dangerous to travel. So why don't you wait for the storm to end before you join us? Nonsense! And miss my Christmas Eve with Vu? It's just a little bit of snow. See you soon. Bye-bye. No taxi! I'm sure Miss Piggy will be all right. Kermit? Kermit, you look worried. I know exactly what you need. Comedy. What? Yeah, come on. Now's the time for you to meet my new partner. Well, well who's your new partner? A snowman. The heck you say? Yeah, yeah, come on outside. We'll do our act for you. Outside? Fozzie, it's too cold to go outside. It's not cold. It is cold. It's not cold. <laughs> Can I come in and warm up? Okay, so it's cold. Uh, I'm Kermit the Frog. You must be Fozzie's new partner. I'll say, we're terrific. Yeah, yeah, come on. You are coming in a snowman, but you are going out a star. Hey, 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 everybody, would you like to see our new act? We'd love to see your act. In fact, we'd hate to miss your act. In fact, we'd love to hate your act. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Stantler, Waldorf, where'd you guys come from? They're friends of mine, Fozzie. They come visit me every Christmas. <laughs> My own mother is friends with you guys? These two comics are made for each other. Hmm. The snowman is ice cold and the bear's not so hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. After all, there's no business like snow business. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, ignore him. Uh, snowman, do a straight line. Here we go. Okay. Hey, Fuzzy. Yes, Mr. Snowman. Did you hear about the church that burned down? Holy smoke! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was our best joke. Oh, that does it, Fuzzy. Forget the act. I'm starting to melt. It's too hot in here. Well, you know what they say. If you can't stand the heat, get out of the farmhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you'll be okay in the back porch. 
boy, that storm is really getting worse. Yeah, I hope Miss Piggy is okay. There is one worried frog. Aha, uh -huh. that's one, one worried frog. Oh, he's not the only one. That's two, two worried frogs. Ah, 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 ah. Search me more small talk, I think. Hey, I better go out and get some firewood. Hi there. Oh, oh. Ooh. <laughs> Did you wish to talk to me about something, Mr. Cook, sir? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gee, nice kitchen. <laughs> hey, are you going to have cranberry sauce and mashed potatoes? Yuck, and spring and burn. Yeah, mm, boy. I just wanna, <laughs> I just wanna hear about the whole meal. Here. Oh, young and spring. Uh, but first, I want to hmm? give this little present to you. Yeah, but who? It's it's chocolate covered bird seed. I made it myself. I wanted to give it to you because, well, I know that you're from Sweden, and it must be hard for you because you're away from your family and loved ones during the holidays. Mm -hmm. At Christmas, there are places and people and things that become very, very special. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Green gong smirt, ye gong smirt, don't go mirror, and sling gong ye bur eskimos. Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe. Ye gong clear gong smirt, ye Though it's been said many times, many ways. Merry Christmas. Do we love you? Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> now then, Mr. Cook, tell me exactly what are you going to fix for Christmas dinner? Uh, uh oh, oh, um, scraper beet on cran and butchers. Shredded wheat and cranberry sauce, yeah. my absolute favorite. Yeah. Ooh, going to be lots of snow for me to shovel tomorrow. Uh, it's getting worse and worse out there. Aren't you glad you're in here all warm and toasty? I just wish Miss Piggy were. Okay, when I yell three, get it! One, two, three! <laughs> I'll go out looking for her. Really? But but you've never even met Miss Piggy. Well, we we never met any of you on a little while ago, and now we're friends. Oh. You see, Sprocky and I were gonna spend Christmas alone, but this is better. Now, what's your friend look like? Uh, well, uh, uh, to begin with, uh, she's a pig. Well, up to a short while ago, I would have thought that strange. I'll give it a try. Gee, thanks, Doc. You'll be sorry. It's cold enough to freeze your Winnebago. Ah! What a sweet guy. Uncle Kermit. Robin? Where are you? In the cellar. What are you doing down there? I made a discovery. Oh, yeah? Well, what, are, what are you talking about? You remember telling me about fraggle holes? Uh, yeah, so? And, and how, if I ever found one, that we could go into Fraggle Rock and maybe meet some fraggles? Uh, so? Is that one? Ooh, look at that. Well, it certainly looks like one. You never know where you're going to find these things. Can we go in, Uncle Kermit? Well, maybe, maybe just a little ways. See if we can meet anyone. Watch your step, Robin. Gee, it's kind of scary. These are beautiful caves. Ooh. Hey, Uncle Kermit, what are you doing? Huh? Okay. Do you think this is really Fraggle Rock? 
Well, I don't know, but if I were a fraggle, I think this is the kind of place I'd hang out. Wait a second. I thought I heard something. Guess not. Well, anyhow. Ah! Hmm? Whoa! Uh, 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 well, uh, uh, hi there. Uh, hi, hey. yourself. Hi, uh, uh, you're Fraggles. I'll say. <laughs> but you're not. I'll say. Uh, no, I, I'm Kermit. This is Robin. Uh, we're frogs. Oh, what's a frog? <laughs> They're frogs. Mm -hmm. I'll say. Don't touch them. Frogs are probably noted germ carriers. Mm -hmm. uh, well, actually, we just came down here to wish you all a Merry Christmas. Oh, oh thank you. Nice. Uh, what's Christmas? Yeah. Oh, don't you have Christmas? <clears throat> no. Oh, that's when you gather together with the people you love and you wish each other peace on Earth. Oh. oh. We have a time like that. Yes, we do. As a matter of fact, we're celebrating it right now. You see, we give each other little presents. I'm giving Boober this nice yellow pebble. <laughs> and I gave Mookie that pebble last year. Yeah. And I gave it to Red the year before that. And yeah. I gave it to you, Wembley, the year before that. <laughs> <laughs> that pebble's been a gift 37 times. 37 times? Yeah. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La 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 la. Pass it on when it's nice and bright and it brings delight. Let your heart choose right. Gotta pass it on when it feels real good, like a feeling should. When it's understood, gotta pass it on. When you're giving love away, love will come again to stay. What you give is what you gain when you pass it on. When I give a gift to you, I know you're good. That's why giving's what we do as we uh -uh. pass it on. 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 Wish you pride. Pass it on. All the good things that you do. Pass it on. Pass it on. Pass it on. Pass it on. When it's gone, it will bring good luck to you. When you're giving love away, love will come again to stay. What you give is what you gain. When you pass it on. When I give a gift to you, I know you're gonna give it too. That's why giving's what we do as we pass it on. Pass it on! <laughs> and that's the way Fraggle presents work. <laughs> I love it. Oh, oh, oh Boober, huh? I almost forgot. I want you to have this pebble. <gasps> so, oh, here. Wow. Oh, thank you, Moki. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, Fraggles, this has all been great, but we gotta be going. Oh, what a shame. I'll say. No, wait, 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 wait. Robin, before you go, I'd like you to have this pebble. <gasps> wow. Gee, well, Merry Christmas, Fraggles. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas Bye-bye! Bye! Bye. Bye. Oh, gosh, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, well, it's nice to be with friends at Christmas. Kermit, we hear shouting outside. It could be Miss Piggy. Oh, oh, let's go. Anyone see her out there? Well, at least the storm has eased up a bit. Uh, uh, Chef, why don't you make some hot soup? And Mrs. Bear, would you put some extra blankets on a bed? Wait a minute, there she is. What? <laughs> She don't look bad for a pig. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain this, Kermit, but I was searching through the snow and suddenly there was Miss Piggy with this costume for me. You don't have to explain, Doc. If there's one thing Piggy knows, it's how to make an entrance. Oh, there's no place like home for the holidays. Just no matter how far away you are away, you roam When you pine for the sunshine Of the friendly days For the holidays You can't beat home, sweet home If you want to be happy In a million ways For the holidays you
an announcement. Thank you, Fozzie. Mm -hmm. I'd like to welcome you all here. Uh, you are all here, aren't you? Oh, good, because I'm afraid we're running out of room. Two of you will have to sleep hung on hangers on a hook on the wall. What a fabulous idea! Love hanger! Love hanger! Ah. That's the only way animal ever sleeps, man. <laughs> <laughs> See, Mom, I told you it'd be easy. They're weirdos, Fuzzy. Yeah? But they're nice weirdos. Yeah. <laughs> Well, everybody, it's Christmas Eve and the tree is trimmed, so it's time for our annual carol sing. Take it, Rolf. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. May the calendar keep ringing happy holidays to you. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. Happy holiday, may the merry bells keep ringing, may your every wish come true. Ding dong merrily on high, in heaven the bells are ringing, ding dong verily the sky is riven with angels singing. What's that? It's pretty. Let's go see, eh? Yeah. yeah! I saw three ships come sailing in On Christmas Day, on Christmas Day I saw three ships come sailing in On Christmas Day in the morning And what was in those ships all three On Christmas Day, on Christmas Day And what was in those ships all three On Christmas Day in the morning Good King Wenceslas looked out On the feast of Stephen When the snow lay round about Deep and crisp and even Brightly shone the moon that night Though the frost was cruel When a poor man came in sight Gathering winter fuel The holly and the ivy When they are both full grown Of all the trees that are in the wood The holly bears the crown For the rising of the sun Christmas, you can count on me. You'll have snow and mistletoe and presents on the tree. Happy holidays! Gather near to us once more, Piggy. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now on, our troubles will be out of sight. Through the years. Together, if the fates allow, hang a shining star upon the highest bough, and have yourself a merry little Christmas now. Ringing, caroling, caroling through the snow. Christmas bells are ringing. 
joyous voice is sweet and clear. Sing the sad of heart to cheer. Ding dong, ding dong, Christmas bells are ringing. Ding dong, ding dong, Christmas bells are ringing. Caroling, caroling, near and far. Following, following yonder star. Mark ye well the song we sing. Glad some tidings now we bring. Christmas bells are ringing. I heard the bells on Christmas Day, their old familiar carols play. And wild and sweet, the words repeat of peace on earth, goodwill to men. in every one of us to be wise find your heart open up both your eyes we It's time I gave you your present. Oh, really? Oh, oh, tell me, what is it? What is it? What is it? Uh, well, your present is a mink. Ah, a mink! A mink. I've always wanted it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, uh, Maureen? Hi, I'm Maureen the mink. What? She said, hi, I'm Maureen the mink. I heard her. I heard her. Mm. Well, 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 this, is, this is the mink? My mink? Of course. Oh, Miss Piggy, I've seen everything. I'm your biggest fan. I worship the ground you walk on. <laughs> what a wonderful present! Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of presents, Grover, mm -hmm. I'd like you to have this fraggle pebble. <gasps> Did this fraggle pebble here is for me? Oh, I just love Christmas. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Oh. Merry well, they certainly seem to be having a good time out there, Sprocket. <coughs> yeah, I like it when they have a good time. But I tell you what, somebody's got to do something about these dishes, Sprocket. Come on, I'll wash and you dry, okay? Mistletoe. Oh, Merry Christmas, Kermit. Merry Christmas, Piggy. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. 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 Merry
Also available from Jim Henson Video. Ah, I'm back. He was the greediest man alive. It's Ebenezer Scrooge. Until the night he met someone extraordinary. Hello. It's the Muppet Christmas Carol on video. I'll drink to Mr. Scrooge, even though he is odious, stingy, and badly dressed. Humbug. Oh, there goes Mr. Humbug. There goes Mr. Grin. Do you think it's safe for us to be up here? Ah! If they gave a prize for being me, the winner would be him. Yes, Mr. Cratchit. If you please, Mr. Scrooge, the bookkeeping staff would like to have an extra shovel full of coal for the fire. Where are assets exposing? How would the bookkeepers like to be suddenly unemployed? Heatwave! Oi! This is my island in the sun. Uh, oi, oi. It's Charles Dickens' classic tale. As only the Muppets can tell it. It's good to be heckling again. It's good to be doing anything again. Filled with holiday warmth. Hey, 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 like the lamb, not the rat, like the lamb, not the rat. And Christmas spirit. <laughs> Jacob Marley. <laughs> Scary stuff. Hey, should we be worried about the kids in the audience? No, it's all right. This is culture. This is the movie to see, to share, to cherish with all your family. Thank you for making me a part of this. Make this the season to remember when you bring home the Muppet Christmas Carol on video. God bless us, everyone. Whatever. Now available from Jim Henson Video. Say cheese! Now you're next to see something wild. Something wacky. Something green. It's the Muppets. They can be yours to keep on video. Gosh, that's so hold on tight for a video adventure that's unlike any other. Wonderful! Uh, spectacular! Because they're larger than life, they're the Muppets. What? I said the Muppets. You are all weirdos. Okay, stand by. Here we go. Kermit and the irrepressible Miss Piggy are heading to Hollywood in the Muppet movie. Are you kidding me? That's 
It's always been my dream. Come share this unforgettable adventure. Whoopee! Don't miss out on all the outrageous fun in the Muppet movie. That'll be all for now. Get in on the hilarious fun as the Muppets turn London upside down in the great Muppet caper. Oh, my Miss Piggy has been framed. Sorry, Miss Piggy, we'll get you out of this. And only Kermit, Gonzo and Fozzie can prove she's innocent. Oh, I'll be stuck in the big house for life. It's a jolly good time, the great Muppet caper. That took a lot out of me. What's the best way to tickle your funny bone? Watching the Muppets. Did you see that? Who did the best show in the world out of all the shows hosted by Frog? Moots, moots, moots. <laughs> I just love your eyes. Oh. They're like, like two ping pong balls floating in a pond of green algae. It's entertainment that will make your day. You think this show constitutes cruelty to animals? Not unless they're watching it. It's classic. It's crazy. Ah! Don't worry, it's all part of the act. It's the Muppets. You know, I really like that. Yep. The Muppets on video. Once you start your collection... Let's go for it. You won't want to stop. Very popular choice. With Kermit, Gonzo and Miss Piggy and bring home the most outrageous fun your family will ever have. All right, you tossed me into it. From Jim Henson Video, welcome to the mystical musical underground world of Fraggle Rock. It's always exciting in Fraggle Rock. It's a place where Fraggles play. Oh, yes! Doozers work. Oh, boy, I love it already. And giant gorgs cause plenty of trouble. Ah, Fraggles! As they sing and share in their special secret land that has been praised by parents and critics alike. Hooray! We're gonna dance and sing all day. We're number one, we just begun, and now it's time to play. Your kids will love watching Fraggles and their friends as they learn the meaning of teamwork. Oh, I love that! Friendship. Oh, boy! And most of all, fun! I know that. Start your collection today with these new volumes of Fraggle Rock. It's a special place they'll never forget. That was the most incredible thing I've ever seen! Join Kermit the Frog. Hi, hello, Kermit the Frog here. And some wet, wild, and woolly Muppets. Splish splash, I was taking a bath. Long about Saturday night. Oh. In the Muppets sing along songs. Just start playing, you'll catch on. With a special guest appearance. And now, here's another great sing along song. By that irrepressible Miss Piggy. Oh, what a heat wave. A tropical heat wave. The Muppet sing-along songs. It's not easy being green. I think he has a point. Hello, I am Gonzo the Great. And I am Rizzo the Rat. Welcome to the Muppet Theater. <laughs> Tonight, we bring you fables of old. Old what? Old, just old stories. What, we couldn't afford new? No, I mean, oh. yes. Listen, these are old stories everybody knows and loves. I don't know, seems like a scam. I mean, you buy a new tape and you get old stories everybody's already heard. Oh, will you be uh, quiet? Our first story is that great old classic, The Three Little Pigs. Oh. Come on in. Well, oh, oh. Excuse me, where's the snack? Yeah, it's down there. Come on, hey, get this. Okay. Once upon a time, in a lovely little cottage, there lived Andy Pig and Randy Pig and their sister, Sandy Pig. 
Oh, you mean the three little pigs. Precisely. The three little pigs lived with their father, Papa Pig. But that was soon to change. Randy! <laughs> Randy, oh, stop Daddy. that! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, today's the day you boys go out in the world and build homes of your own. Ooh. All by ourselves? Out among the wolves? Now, now, you have nothing to fear. You are strong, smart boys who can take care of yourselves. <laughs> oh, we know yes, that, Papa. Daddy, but... but... Uh, what about our sister, Sandy? Uh, yes, she is just a girl. Yeah, that's true. So you two boys must take care of her. <laughs> that's Sandy, the third little pig. You call that a little pig? <laughs> I heard that, Buster. Sandy, dear, you must get ready to go. Oh, Papa, I am ready, to, but, but first, I want to show you some drawings. Huh? You see here, Papa, these are Moi's plans for a state-of-the-art brick house, incorporating high-tech security systems there, you see, designed to keep away all predators, especially wolves. Mm -hmm. Well, mm. isn't that cute? It's a picture of a house. <laughs> well, don't you worry, darling daughter. Your brothers will take care of you. Yeah, yeah we'll that's take right. care of you, Sandy. Sandy, we will. Mm -hmm. And so the three little pigs went out in the world and built homes of their own. Andy's home was built of straw. Randy's home was built of sticks. And Sandy's home was a state-of-the-art brick house incorporating high-tech security. All right, they got it already. Boys, 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 boys! Your house of straw over there, and, and this house of sticks, well, they will not keep you safe when the wolf comes to call. Ha! We have nothing to fear. No, for we are strong, smart boys who can take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, come on! Oh, far down. I cannot believe those are Moi's brothers. That very night, as the three little pigs slept, each in their very own home, the wolf came to call. Oh, how quaint. A house of straw. <laughs> Hello? Little pig, little pig, let me come in. <laughs> Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll yowl, and I'll howl, and I'll soil your towel! Uh, no, that's not right. Uh, hmm. uh, that's it. Oh, yeah, this is better, yeah. <laughs> then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down! <laughs> Whoa, whoa. Now it's the wolf. Randy, Randy, Randy. Whoa. Boo. Oh, whoa. Ah. Randy, it's the wolf, it's the wolf. Randy, let me get it again. Ah, a house of sticks. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hair on our chin, chin, chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. I told you. Pigs <laughs> <laughs> mm. in a blanket? Why, thank you. I believe I will. <laughs> oh, Jenny, please help oh, us. Sandy, Andy. please let us in. Oh. Can't a girl get a decent night's oh. rest? Oh. What oh. You? Oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Whoa. A brick house. Oh, yeah? Well, you're no junior petite yourself. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Sandy, dear sister. Please save us from the wolf. <laughs> oh, oh, from the wolf? I couldn't. I am just a girl. No, 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 no. no, no. You're just as strong and smart as we are. Stronger. Smarter. <laughs> yeah, much smarter. No comparison. We are just numbskulls. Nitwits. Chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Enough. You can stay, but on one condition. What is that, Sandy? Hey, if you want me to listen when you talk, there's one little thing you better recollect. 
can. If you want me to open when you knock, brothers, you better show me some respect. Show her some respect. Not just because I'm pretty. Show her some respect. Not just because I'm cute and witty. Show her some respect. And then you'll find there's so much more. Ah, uh, show me some respect. And then she'll open up the door. Sort of simple-minded dingbat. You can talk about the dimples on her chin. But if you want a girl who's going to be your friend forever, better show her that you know where it begins. Oh, you can talk about my brains, and you can talk about my beauty, you can talk about my pulchritude and pride. But if you want to hear the sound the door makes as it opens, better show you know the moi that lives inside. If you want her to open when you knock, brothers, you better show me some respect. Show her some respect. Not just because I'm rich and famous. Show her some respect. Come on, don't you be no ignoramus. Mm -hmm. You're gonna find this more and more. Show her some respect. And then I'll open up the door. Show her some respect. Not just because I'm pretty. Show her some respect. Not just because I'm cute and witty. Mm -hmm. You're gonna find there's so much more. So her some respect. And then I'll open up. Open up. Open up the door. The very next morning, by dawn's early light, the wolf came calling again. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in! Ahem. You're supposed to say, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin! Are you suggesting that I have facial hair, furball? Uh, no, I only meant that. Oh, 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 ah. All right, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the house down! Oh, oh, there's got to be a better way. Oh, hey, hey, hey. We, we, we show them. Quiet, 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 quiet. There's someone at the door. Sorry, Sandy. Sandy. A pizza man. Oh, oh, look. It says extra cheese, onions, anchovies, mushrooms, bell peppers, and chocolate kisses. Mm. Was favorite. <laughs> hey, where? Uh, Despite these setbacks, that wolf did not give up. In fact, he devised his most dishonest and despicable plan. You are too kind. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! It is I, Santa Claus, with presents for three good little pigs. Ho, ho, ho! Oh, oh Santa's coming! coming. Yeah. Hooray! 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 Wait, 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 wait. Think. Christmas is in December. Uh -huh. And this is the middle of summer. He's, he's early! early! He's, he's early! early! Oh, hey, it's early! It's early! They couldn't be Moi's brothers. It's summer! It's <sighs> summer! Christmas time! It's summer! Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Oh, boy! A girl's got to do everything around here. <laughs> Uh-oh. Blast off! Ah! I hate it when this happens. Ah! <laughs> Where's Santa going? Will he be coming back? Definitely not Moss Brothers. As you can see, the three little pigs lived happily ever after. The end.
Say, I wonder where Rizzo went. Hey, 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 you want some popcorn? Yuck! I don't want popcorn a rat's been sitting in. Well, hoity-toity. <laughs> Besides, it is not polite to eat in front of all these people. Well, excuse me, I just happen to love popcorn. I can't get enough. <laughs> well, you know, Rizzo, too much of anything is not good for you. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I'm glad you asked, because that's what our next story is about. By the way, could you tell this one, I am the star? <coughs> Hello. Oh, well, excuse me, Mr. Brando. <clears throat> our next story, ladies and gentlemen, is the story of King Midas. Now, once upon a time, long, long ago, King and Queen Midas ruled over a kingdom that was never at peace and always a little short of cash. <laughs> I wish we had peace in the world. Hmm. I wish we had more money. Alas, their kingdom remained poor and in turmoil. But then, one fine day, King Midas was strolling in his garden when he spied a sleeping satyr. Uh, excuse me. Oh, Ma, five more minutes, I promise. Ma, you're all green. I'm not your mother. I am King Midas, ruler of this kingdom. Who or what are you? I am a satyr, half man and half goat. Well, listen, Mr. Satyr, you seem to be sleeping on my royal roses. Hmm? That is an offense that is punishable by death. Guard! D d death! Wait a minute, you gotta be kidding! Death for sleeping on roses? Gee, I hate to see what you guys do to litterers. Hmm. <sighs> well, perhaps the punishment is a bit harsh. Harsh? I'll say! Hey, wait a minute, let's make a deal. Supposing you don't kill me, hmm? and I grant you a wish. A wish? A wish. Any wish you desire. Come on, what do you say? Hmm. I wish that we had peace money. in the world. Money? Money! The King Midas wishes for money. I do not. Shh. OK, what kind of money do you want exactly? We've got dollars, drachmas, francs, rubles, pounds, baubles, trifles, gold, gems. Gold, 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 gold! Very good. Yeah, gold, gold. We've got gold braid, gold shoes, goldy locks. Uh, no, wait, that's another story. Oh, no, no, yeah. no, no, and no, then no, there's no. golden rod, golden touch, Golden them Hills. Wait, 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 go back, go back, go back. Uh, Goldilocks? No, no, the other one, the other one. Uh, Golden Touch. Yes, yes, Excellent Golden Excellent choice, touch. excellent. But, 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 Queen Midas, I really wanted to wish for peace in the world. Oh, my dear, my dear, hmm? this is a chance to make this kingdom rich beyond our wildest dreams. But there are some things that are more important than gold. I think your crown's on a little too tight. Can we speed this up? I left the bathwater running. We'll take the Golden Touch. Yes, You yes, got yes. it. OK, just call me if you need anything at all. <clears throat> Oof. Hmm. Okay, uh, where's the ripple dissolve? Where's the special effect? How does this golden touch thing work? <gasps> ah! Look, 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 look. I, I touched this rose and it turned to gold. It's ruined. Ruined? Oh! Mm. Mighty, don't be foolish, my love. We're rich, Mighty, we're rich. Everything you touch will turn to gold. Ah! Hey, <gasps> hey, mm. hey, hey! Oh, look! He's changed my head into gold! Gold can't buy all the blue and blue skies. And what's more peaceful than green? If you know what I mean. I do. Hmm? Don't you know we've got the mightiest touch? That golden glimmer at the slightest touch. It's rain and shivers, never more to be for and be. Golden steeple filled with dazzle, dazzle, and pure pizzazzle of the mighty magic Midas touch. Hmm. Yeah, but our friends all around us. Oh, come on. Are more precious than gold. Listen, Buster, don't you love the polish and the luster of the Midas touch? No, wait. There's nothing finer than the Midas touch. Oh, please. Don't be a whiner. But gold is so cold and chilly. Don't be silly, kill that lily! In the Midas touch, can't stop it when the world is in your clutch. And don't you drop it, take these lousy millions and make bazillions with the mighty magic Midas touch! Go! 
Golden Globe. Thank you, International Press. With the marvelous, miraculous, magnificent, mighty, and magical. Bessie wants to be a real golden mm. cow. Mm. I do not do cows. All right, everybody out, everybody out. That's enough for the King's Fingers are tired. That's it. Everybody out. That's it. That's it. And no cows. Okay, I'll come back. Oh, there, there, darling. You must keep up your strength. Eat something. All right. Come along. Now settle down, dear, please. And have some fruit. Oh. Ah, I can't take this. Ah. Oh, oh no, Marty. Oh, my king has turned to gold. Oh, oh, Marty, are you in there? Can you hear me? Hello? Ah. Oops. Yes, the king had turned to gold. Now Queen Midas had all the gold she wanted and a big, big problem. What are you staring at? Dance, dance, dance! Uh, how's your day, dear? Uh, oh, really? You don't say? Uh, 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 your people, dear! <laughs> He's got such a lovely golden tan. I hear he uses a sun lamp. Uh. <laughs> As a statue made of gold, King Midas just wasn't the same fun-loving monarch. So the queen sought help from her royal advisors. Help! 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 Ah. First came the royal doctor. Doctor, doctor, huh? do you think you can turn the king back to normal? No, but oh. this should keep him from tarnishing. Then came the royal jeweler. Nice workmanship. I'll give you 350 for the whole frog. And finally, the royal jester. <laughs> okay, here's a riddle for you. What's King Midas's favorite vegetable? 24 carrots. Get it? 24 carrot gold. <laughs> Queen Midas had lost all hope. She realized there was only one more thing left to do. Where is that satyr? Hey, yo, satyr! Where are you, satyr? Hey, goat boy! What is it? I was about to bathe. Thank goodness. Hey, look at him. I get sentenced to death for bending a few rose petals, but oh, the king, he lounges in flower beds. You see, that's what's wrong with a monarchy. Knock it off! Look, this golden touch thing just, just isn't working. What seems to be the matter? What's the matter? The king has turned himself to gold! Oh, I can see where that might be a problem. I will do anything to bring back my king. Oh, please, please, please. Please, help me, help me. Please, 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 please no please. groveling. Oh. I can bring back the king <gasps> if, and you're going to love this part, if you will. You are joking. Nope. Either that or you've got yourself a world-class paperweight. All right, all right. Here goes. I do not want any gold. Oh, come on now. You really got to mean it. All right, all right. I do not want any gold. Love and friendship are more important than all the gold in the world. <gasps> oh, my queen, Seder, look, I am rid of that accursed golden touch. Oh, mighty! Oh, queen. Oh. Listen, I'll tell you what. You two have been such good sports, I'm going to give you one wish for free. Oh, oh, Seder, you are too kind. Uh, with this wish, I wish for peace. And slice all the a slice of matic. A slice of matic. Slice of Yeah, you know, uh, one of those fancy food thingies that slices, dices, makes julienne fried potatoes. And we have it in stock. In avocado green? Of course. <laughs> ooh, isn't it marvelous? Ooh, ooh, wow. Can I try? After you bathe. Ha. <laughs> Sheesh. 
And so, King and Queen Midas and the satyr used a slice of medic to throw fabulous dinner parties for everyone in the entire kingdom. And they all lived happily ever after. <laughs> the end. Psst, well, hello, goat man. Never mind that! I can't get these stupid goat legs off. Will you tell the next story, too? You got it. And now the story of the boy who cried wolf. Oh, oh no, I'm in that one, too! Once upon a time... <gasps> once upon a time, there was a young shepherd... ...who, in addition to missing his kill... Rizzle! ...sometimes had a tendency to overreact. <laughs> What was that? It felt like... Huh? An earthquake! An earthquake! An earthquake! An earthquake! An earthquake! An earthquake! 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 Here. Well, Mr. Mayor, what are you going to do about all these earthquakes? What? Yeah, the yeah. poison isn't safe! You yeah. want to do something. We pay our taxes. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a second. I didn't feel any earthquake. Did any of you? Well, then how did all this earthquake nonsense get started? What? I should have known it was you, Shepard. You simply must stop overreacting. If something bad were to happen, no one would listen to you. I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor. It will never happen again. I promise. Uh, okay. All right. Thank you. I'm sorry. So, uh, anybody want to have lunch? But then, the very next day, while washing his socks... I'll well, see now. I'll just have to hang these out to dry someplace. Uh, oh, that might be good right there. Let's see. Yeah, I'll get the sun there. That's a... Well, that felt like water. Water? You know, oh, that, that felt like water. I think water hit me. That could be a... A tidal wave! A tidal wave! What? A tidal wave! get tidal waves here? The nearest ocean is thousands of miles away. <sighs> oh, good grief. I should have known. Come on, everybody, let's go home. Uh, but, but wait a minute, if it had been a tidal wave, y'all would have thanked me. You know, but if it had been. Now, one day, not too long thereafter, the shepherd was tending his sheep. Um, g got any threes? Go oh. fish. Uh, got room for one more? No, sorry. Maybe next hand. Uh, you'll say, wait a minute, you're a wolf. What are you doing here? Huh? <laughs> you're kidding. Oh. You're here to eat my sheep? Wolf! 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 Come on! Wolf! You think calling wolf is gonna do any good? Wolf! Now listen, I'd skedaddle if I were you. About a million mean townspeople are on their way to get you. A wolf! <laughs> wolf! Who are you kidding? Wolf! I've been watching you. You've sounded so many false alarms, nobody for a hundred miles will believe you. Uh, oh, really? Yep, no one would come if you cried wolf until you turned blue. But I already am blue. Hmm? Oh. True. Well, then, tell you what I'm going to do. What, what? I'm going to give you 24 hours to get some help. Why are you giving me 24 hours? I thought the story could use an increase in dramatic tension about now. Oh, oh, well, thank you very much. But wolf! 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 Oh. Listen, I'm sorry, Shepard, but you've cried wolf too many times. You've betrayed our trust. We simply cannot believe you. But, but, but Mayor, I can 
prove it this time. Who do you think you're fooling? Yeah, yeah right, sure. Oh, brother. I guess the sky is falling. Hey, we've heard it all before. You pulled the wool right over our eyes too many times with all your lies. So who do you think you're fooling? Yeah, right, sure. There was the flood. And then the earthquake, the monster fur balls, the giant snails, the attack of the trees, and then the quicksand, the million ticks, and the killer whales, the talking shoes, the walking bushes. You had us running from a hundred foot cow. So tell us how, when you infect us, do you expect us to listen now? We were born yesterday, you know. Agree. You're making it up, but now we're smarter. Go away now, let us be. Who do you think you're fooling? Yeah, right, sure. I guess the sky is falling. Hey, we've heard it all before. You pulled the wool right over our eyes too many times with all your lies. So who do you think you're fooling? I'm not trying to fool yeah, anybody. Right. Who do you think you're fooling? But if you yeah, really right. listen to me... Who do you think you're fooling anyhow? <sighs> I am just trying to tell you that there is a wolf out there. Yeah, right, sure! Ah! <sighs> well, I tried everything, but I guess the mayor was right when he said that my overreacting would get me into trouble. I'm sorry, my little woolly friends. I tried to save you, but I'm a sham of a shepherd. Not even fit to carry this crook. Oh. Goodbye. <laughs> well, it sounds to me like the uh, shepherd has learned his lesson. Yeah. This is probably a very good place to end the story. Yeah, especially <laughs> before we get into any gratuitous violence. Yeah. Yeah. End the story! Yeah. 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 And they all lived happily ever after. But despite the protests of the sheep, the story was not over. Oh. Oh. In one hour, the wolf would return just in time for lunch. <laughs> oh. Say, I've got an idea. What? What? Mm -hmm. You guys remember my cousin Norman? Mm -hmm. Your mother's son. Yeah. Come, 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 come. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Shepard, mm. looks like no one believed your cries for help. Uh, it's true. All those false alarms reduced my credibility to zip. Mm. Well, then, sounds like it's time for me to wolf down some lunch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> little predator humor. Well, uh, <laughs> excuse me, Mr. Wolf, mm. but, uh, big sheep. What? Big sheep. Ah, oh, come on now, Shepard. <laughs> what makes you think I'm gonna fall for that silly tactic? Well, because it's a really big sheep. But that doesn't make any sense. What do you mean, really? Big sheep! Oh, nice going, Norman. Mm. Oh, that's what you mean by really big sheep. <laughs> Norman, 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 Norman. And so the shepherd, with some help from the sheep and their really big cousin, Norman, saved the day. The mayor gave the shepherd a medal for not crying wolf except when an actual wolf was present. The townspeople and sheep rejoiced, and everybody lived happily ever after. Well, almost everybody. Uh, you, you can get off now. No. <laughs> the end. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time when you'll hear Rizzo say... Uh, when do we eat? Later, Rizzo. Right now, it's time to polka! <laughs> <laughs>
Hello, I am the great Gonzo. And I'm the pretty darn good Rizzo. <laughs> Welcome to the Muppet Theater. Tonight, we bring you three time-honored tales. Hey, say, here's hmm? a time-honored tale. <laughs> well, will you stop that? This is high culture. High culture? <laughs> oh, brother, never mind. Our first story is all about a weird little creature who can spin straw into gold. Oh, don't tell me you played a weird little creature. Well, yes, as a matter of fact, I do. Typecasting. <laughs> May I? Be my guest. All right, please, come in. Oh. <laughs> come on, hey, get this Okay. Hey. Ducky. Once upon a time in a faraway kingdom, there lived a sad and lonely king who wanted to find a fair young maiden to be his queen. Oh, loyal royal advisor, are you there? At your service, oh sad and lonely king. Um, um, can you get rid of this echo? Oh, oh, it's, depressing. it's depressing. Kill the echo, anything else, sire. Yes, find me a fair young maiden to be my queen, someone who is special. Well, now, special's not really covered in my job description, and... and... if you succeed, I shall reward you with your very own castle, which... Which is why I must find you someone special. <laughs> and so, the fairest young maidens in all the land came to the castle in hopes of becoming queen. Okay. Good, good. Yeah. Oh, Next! So oh, here we go. Come on. Shh, shh. Go. What's so special about your daughter? Well, she can swim through a boat filled with alligators. Very impressive. Next! <laughs> oh, Daddy, I cannot believe you dragged me here. Oh, now, daughter, don't you want to show the king how special you are and become his queen? Well, of course, but what is so special about the moi? Hmm? Besides charisma, beauty, and a fabulous singing voice. Uh, well, we'll think of something. Next! <laughs> My daughter can gurgle to the tune of Beethoven's Fifth. How charming. Next! <laughs> I am Miller, and this is my daughter, Piggy. Yes, yes, and what's so special about her? Well, she can, um, uh, well, uh, once she... Uh, I don't have all day. Uh, Daddy? Uh, uh, she can spin straw into gold. I can what? She can what? Well, she can spin straw into gold. Daddy, hmm? are you out of your cotton-picking mind? You must meet the king. You know that I don't... Mind if I do? <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't push the light. Daddy, Quiet. you're embarrassing me. Oh, oh, cheer sorry. up, your royal highness. Have I got a girl for you? <gasps> oh, I, uh, I, I, I am the, uh, the, uh... The king. You're the king. Oh, the king. <laughs> I, I am the, uh, the... Piggy, uh, Miller's daughter, and uh, I am uh, Miller, uh, Piggy's father, your majesty. Oh, no, I'm not the majesty. You're the majesty, and this is my daughter, Piggy, and this is... Oh, thanks, I needed that. Uh, oh. ah, here's the beauty part, your highness. The pig can spin straw into gold. Astounding. How do you perform such a marvelous feat? Ah, beats the heck out of me. It's an old family secret. <laughs> yes, and to prove it, she's going to spin us a room full of gold. I am. Wow. I am. I am. Come along, my dear. Oh, Come along. Until tomorrow, then. Oh, uh, goodbye, my kingy. Yes. Uh, to the uh, Come. Uh, uh, your Majesty. Oh. Well, that was my cue. I'm in this next scene. Wish me luck. Break a leg. Thanks. <laughs> and so. Ah. Oh. 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 And so the loyal royal advisor took Piggy to a room filled with straw. Listen, sister, I've got a castle riding on this. Turn this straw into gold, or you'll spend your not so happily ever after in the dungeon. Oh, oh dear. I would give anything if I could spin straw into gold. Whoa! <laughs> Did I hear you say that you'd give 
anything? Who are you? Whoa, you'll never know. <laughs> huh, is something burning in here? Oh, it's only me. <clears throat> what a weird little man. Ah, no time for compliments. I've got to spin all this straw into gold. <gasps> you will? Wonderful. For a fee, of course. A fee? Mm-hmm. Now, how about that lovely little necklace you're wearing? Whatever you say, weirdo. <gasps> Wow, this is gonna go perfect with my tattered moss-covered outfit. <laughs> you sure you know what you're doing? Of course I do. I got a license. And so the weird little man spun straw into gold all through the night. This isn't some sort of trick. But, 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 but Let's play it safe. I'll keep an eye on this gold while you spin another room full of gold. What? Another room full of gold or the dungeon. Bring in more straw. Oh, no. You weird little man. Where are you? You. <laughs> Way to travel. You called? Oh, yes. Please, will you spin all this straw into gold just one more time, please? Mm, for a fee. Well, oh, of course. Um, uh, how about this bracelet right here? Hmm? Nah, cubic zirconium. But I'll tell you what I will do. What? When you become queen. Yes. And have a baby. Yes. You give the child to me. Okay. Wait a second. Are you out of your mind? I, I mean, I could never, I would never. Another room full of gold? Or the dungeon. Oh, alas, I have no choice. <laughs> Marvelous. Now, down to work. Skin that gold. And so the weird little man once again spun straw into gold. And the very next morning. Shall be my queen. Yeah. Yes. And so the king married Piggy and made her queen. The loyal royal advisor got his castle, and everyone lived happily ever after. Until one glorious day when oh. Queen Piggy had a child. <laughs> oh, 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 time to pay up. Oh, oh no 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 no! You stay away from my baby. We have a oh, bargain. Oh no! Please. Oh, all please, right. Please, I can't please, stand please. to see a pig grovel. I'll let you keep the child <gasps> if, and I just love this part, if you can guess my name. Whoa. Oh, 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 that's easy. Mm -hmm. it's so Go ahead, then. You're good old dumb. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you say your name was again? I didn't. And if you can't guess it by tomorrow, then the child is mine. <laughs> Queen Piggy realized she was gonna need help on this one, so she called together the king, the loyal royal advisor, and her father, and she told them the whole truth. And that's the whole truth? <laughs> so you're telling us you never spun the straw into gold? Uh-uh. Okay, that's it. To the dungeon. Uh, wait, stop. Now, I didn't marry Piggy because she could spin straw into gold. You, you didn't? didn't? No. I married her because... I love her. <gasps> you do? Yeah. Hey, chill. Oh, Kingy! Oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, not now, oh. Piggy. There's work to do. We must learn the name of that weird little man. Hmm. Hmm. Ernie or Bill, is it Calvin or Don? Ernie or Fred, is it George, is it Han? Igor or Jed, maybe Kevin or Vaughn? Melvin or Ned, how long can this go on? Otto, Pedro, Quasi, Roll, Ted, Holman, Will, Zeno, King, Son, Son. Gotta get that name, 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 we got to get that name, we got to get that name, gotta 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 get that name
Mortimer? Maybe not. How about Scott? Maybe Leroy. Just plain Roy? Just plain Lee. How many days can there be? Let's it start with a B. We got to get that name, we got to get that name, 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 no one could guess the weird little man's name, and so it seemed that the queen would be forced to give up her child. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, gotta get that fixed. Oh. I'm back! Oh, no, I will not give you the child. We have a bargain! It is simply not fair. Fair? Hey, if life was fair, would I look like this? Would my mother have sent me away to camp every summer until I was 18? Would I have a name like... Oh, oh no, you don't! Oh. Wait, 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 wait! Huh? Did you say you went to summer camp? Yep, Camp Weirdo, every July and August. Good at crafts, lousy at sports. Grab him! Ah, wait, ah, hey, ah, hey! See, 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 hey, a good please. mother always shows her kids' names inside their clothes before sending them off to ah, camp. So, so, okay. look at the label and says, go. Take that, Mr. Ralph Lauren! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nope. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, wait, wrong label, wrong ah, label. You... It says, uh, Rumpelstiltskin? Hmm? Oh, that is not fair! <gasps> oh, that's that's that is not fair! And so Piggy guessed the weird little man's name, and everyone lived happily ever after. Except, of course, for Rumpelstiltskin. This is an outrage! Bring down the curtain! Oh, that was mortifying! Bring down the curtain! But, but, but you're not allowed to touch those ropes! Who cares? <laughs> Before. You uh, want to try it? Uh, no, thanks. Just wait right here. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, our next uh, story is that tantalizing tale of trendiness, uh, the Emperor's uh, New Clothes. Uh, uh, listen, come, come over here. Come over here. Where? Now, look, I, I'm in this next one. Can you tell the story? Uh, no, thanks. I'm not hungry. Uh, the show must go on. <clears throat> now then, I believe it's my turn to tell the story. Once upon a time, in a far away kingdom, there was a rat engaged in a rather dubious enterprise. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up. I am here today to tell you that Rizzo's curative elixir is good for what ails ya. But don't take my word for it. No. Let me randomly select someone from the crowd to demonstrate this fine, fine product. Uh, choose Let's me! See, choose uh, me! Uh, me! Uh, me! 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 You, me. sir! Choose, choose me! Uh, who, me? Yes, sir. Step right up. Oh. Now, sir, have we ever met before? Well, sure, you're dating my sister. Uh, oh, I said, ow. sir, have Ooh. we ever met Ooh. before? Uh, no, stranger, you are a total stranger whom I've never met before this moment in time. Absolutely. Ooh. Now, sir, Ooh. I happen to notice that you are lame. Well, not really. It's just because you stepped on my foot. Ah! Oh, oh, yes, I'm lame and I'm in great pain. Yes, yes. Mm. I don't know, something doesn't seem quite right here. Oh, nonsense! Rizzo's curative elixir cured my baldness! See? I have this thick, wavy brown hair, and all I have to do is feed it cheese once a day. Uh, but, sir, that's not hair, that's a rat! Oh. A what? Uh-oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, after that. Rizzo! Uh, I'm scray! Uh, the jig is up! Uh, uh, hey! Uh, I'm bald! Uh, this uh, is 
an outrage. Uh -oh. Somebody oh, arrest that rat. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today. Goodbye. Uh, I'll be, uh... Stop boy. right there, Rodin. <laughs> I'll arrest you in the name of Emperor Fuzzy of Fuzzalia. Oh, yeah, what's the charge? For being a charlatan, a phony, and a quack. For committing fraud, chicanery, and subterfuge. Oh, that. Yeah. Hey, 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 where are you taking me? To Emperor Fuzzy. He knows how to deal with scallywags, ruffians, and their do else. Mm -hmm. What'd you do, swallow a dictionary or something? Oh. Hey, but I wanted to buy some. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I'm not, fin I'm not finished yet. No, so the bear said hyperventilating. I thought you said hibernating. Now laugh. No! <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, my slippers. Yes. I want my slippers. The royal slippers, oh, sire. Oh. Wait, here, let me show you something here. Ah! Ah! <gasps> what do you guys think, huh? Oh, yes! Oh, yes. 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 It, uh, it looks me. Ah. It, it, it yes. makes me so happy. I just want to go pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 Excuse me, pardon me for asking this, but why is everyone wearing their shoes on their ears and going pop, pop, pop? Oh, you see, the emperor is wearing his shoes on his ears and going pop, pop, pop. Yes, the majesty is certainly a trendsetter, isn't he? Yes, I say. So, so wait a minute, wait a minute. So what you're all telling me here is whatever the emperor does, you guys just sort of go along with it? Oh, right, yes. Pop, pop, pop. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, we have a scallywag in our midst. Right here, right here. Huh? Uh, <coughs> Hello, Your Majesty. Ooh. Now, before you pass judgment on my unworthiness, I must say those are lovely slippers, and wearing them on your ears is very, very smart. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Too bad the rest of your wardrobe is so shabby. <gasps> Can you say that? Whoa, no. Shabby? What do you mean, shabby? Well, Your Highness, your wardrobe is very nice, but it just isn't special. <gasps> Not special? Nope, but you're in luck, because, Your Majesty, I happen to be the finest tailor in all the land. What a coincidence! What a coincidence! Yeah. Yeah. What a coincidence. Yeah. Hey, 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 what a great idea. Could you make me some new clothes? Oh, well, Your Majesty, I can't afford to go Afford? Around. Afford? Oh, no problem. Yeah, we got a lot of gold and jewels oh. hanging around the oh, palace. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. why didn't you say so? Okay. You go find the gold and yeah. meet me in the royal dressing room for a fitting. Over there? Okay, fine. Oh, boy, oh, boy, I'm glad you showed up. The feeling's yeah. mutual. Yeah, come on, come on. Yeah, right. <laughs> Like this yeah. Okay, neck. Neck is a uh, 15. Neck 15. Okay, ankles. Ankles are um, three. Ankles three, neck 15. All right, okay. You, you, you certainly are thorough. Hey, you bet. Now, are you sure this is all the gold and jewels you got? Oh, yeah, every last bit, yeah. Good, because now we can get started on your new clothes. Oh, really? <laughs> well, tell me, what sort of fabric will you be using? Huh? Well, at this very moment, my colleague Montague is at the loom weaving the very finest fabric in all the land. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yep. but there's, uh, there's nothing on the loom. Uh, but, but your majesty, uh, <clears throat> uh, this is special fabric that can only be seen by elegant people such as yourself. Uh, uh, see it now? Oh! Oh! Uh -huh. Oh, of course! Oh, yeah, well, it must have been the lighting over here. I'll start oh, over yeah. here. Oh, there it, must it have been is! The lighting. Yeah, yeah. Yes! Oh, <laughs> yeah. nice stuff! Well. Very sheer! Mm -hmm. A royal court! <laughs> royal <laughs> court! Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Now, what, what do you think of the fabric for my new clothes, huh? Uh, well, uh, begging your pardon, Your Majesty, but uh, I see no fabric. Uh, uh, well. Perhaps you are not elegant enough to see such fine fabric. Ah, your king can see it. Ah, uh, yes, oh yes, that fabric, lovely, very sheer. Yeah, well, I, I knew you'd like it. I knew you'd like it. You certainly are marvelous tailors. Well, thank right. you very much, but after all, Your Majesty, you deserve only the very best. Me? As a dresser, you're accosted. You have gone from bad to worsted. You need more than tweed. Yeah. This is guaranteed. Deport the local silk and satin. This priest Batiste is from Manhattan. Lose this lousy chintz. Yeah. Sell it to a lowly prince. 
You gotta shine with finery incomparable. Anything less than the best would be unbearable. Terrible, I get it. It's you. It's you. It's so completely you. It is? No fluff, no cuff, no stuffing. That's great! Believe me, it's nothing. Oh, it's true! It's you! It's so completely you. No seam unsewn, no flaws inside. Hey, that's real chenille, not naga high. It's true! And nothing's too good for you. Ah, hey! It's me, it's me. Only foolish fools can't see. Us fools from upper classes Don't need bifocal glasses To see, we see Your royal pedigree These diamond studs and golden threads These paisley pants will knock them dead The sheer veneer of polished chrome The texture of true spider foam Braided brocade and treasure twill It's been a thrill, man, here's the bill well, we too good for me. Ain't it the truth? <laughs> these jewels, these jewels. Oh, how we fooled those fools. The scam was so idyllic. <laughs> that bear was imbecilic. <laughs> We're rich. We're rich. This life is such a stitch. <laughs> Nothing fits so perfectly as clothes for those who cannot see. What's true? <laughs> Nothing's too good for you. <laughs> Nothing's too good for you. Oh, yeah. Nothing's too good for... us. <laughs> I hope you guys are pulling up there, because I feel like I'm working my tail off in the back. I gotta hit it to you, Chief. You really outdid yourself this time. A mere bag of shells, my dear Monty. You? Huh? Where? Whoa. If it isn't my royal tail, is, uh, and where are you going? Uh, we were just, uh... Well, we, we, were, uh, uh, we, were, uh, we were, uh, looking for you! Yes, yeah. right, we were looking for you because, uh... uh, uh my new clothes are ready? Because your new clothes are ready, exactly! Oh, 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 oh <laughs> yeah. where are they, where are they? Well, they're, uh, they're, uh... Pop, 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 pop! Right over here, right over here. Uh -huh. Where, yeah, yeah, where, yeah, where? Yeah, yeah, uh, here they are, right yeah, here on yeah, the table. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Gee, isn't it kind of small? Uh, no, oh. no, no. It uh, it uh, gets bigger when you put it on. You yeah. idiot! Where'd you get in that way? Oh, oh, I see. Lovely. Uh, uh, well, Saya, it's been a real pleasure. We better get going though, because yeah. we got a we big job go. over in Tarzana. Oh, nonsense! Yeah. Nonsense? No, I'm going to have a big celebration so the uh -huh. entire kingdom can admire my new clothes. Yeah. And uh, you will be my uh -huh. guests of honor. Oh, uh, uh, gosh, that's uh, nice. Boy. But uh, we really gotta get yeah, going. Yeah, no, 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 no. Huh? Huh? Then we will have the celebration. Celebration right away. Bailiff! Uh, Bailiff, uh, you uh, take good uh, care of my friends uh, here. I'm uh, gonna go change! Uh, yeah, but. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Rizzo, what are we gonna do? Yeah, what? Just watch the master work. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, everybody. Uh, pardon me, over here, please. Now, in just a moment, the Emperor is going to parade by in his new clothes. Now, now, listen, I should tell you all that these clothes cannot be seen by the dull and uncultured. Right? Oh, 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 yes, yes. I had no trouble seeing them. Mm. They were grand, mm -hmm. splendiferous, yes. magnificent, yes. glorious. Oh, looky, looky. Oh, 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 I see it too, and they're fabulous! But gosh, the Emperor isn't wearing any clothes! What do you mean, Robin? Well, Your Majesty, I guess you just forgot to get dressed. Oh, no, no, pay no attention to him. He's obviously just a dull and uncultured youth who cannot see the fine cloth. See what I mean? But, but wait, but, but, no, but, but wait, but Robin is, is one of the brightest lads in the kingdom, right? Thank you, oh, yes, sire. that's true, that's, that's true. true. And, and that means if Robin can't see my new clothes, then that means I, I must be... Naked! Oh, 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 cover me, cover me, cover the king, cover the king. Everybody, down, everybody, everybody, please, please. If the emperor is naked, then that must mean that that is the new style. Therefore, everyone, 
knocked off your duds! Oh, no, wait, 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 no, 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 no! Please don't take off your clothes, please! I think it is time that you stop doing things just because I do them. You should learn to think for yourself. Oh, cover think me, for cover yourselves? me. What a novel idea! Oh, I'm so glad he thought of it. And, uh, and speaking of thinking for ourselves, let's get out of here. Oh, oh sheesh! What? Sheesh! Oh, rats! That's right, you're coming with me. No, let's go. No, Come on! No. And so, the Emperor and his kingdom learned that it is best when you think for yourself and follow your own fashion. And as for that rascally band of rats, they live happily ever after while serving ten years in the palace dungeon. Yeah. Uh, Just ten years? Hey, it'll go by like that. Oh, uh, Monty, Monty, how long has it been so far? Twelve minutes. Oh. Okay, look, here's the plan. When we get out, I hear there's this sultan who is so <laughs> gullible. Uh, what? What? You I, hey, yeah. I, 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 our next tale is that timeless classic. I'm back. Oh, nice work. <laughs> <clears throat> Our next tale is that timeless classic, The Elves and the Shoemaker. Hey, a story about Elvis? Oh, no, no, no Rizzo, not Elvis. Elves. Elvis is the king of rock and roll. Mm. Elves are sprite like creatures with magical powers. Elvis with magical powers? Cool. Brother. What? Once upon a time, in a land called... Memphis. Uh, yeah, okay. In a land called Memphis, there lived a poor shoemaker and his good-hearted nephew and apprentice, Robin. Times were bad for the shoemaker, and one sad day, the local banker came round to demand his money. Who is it? It is I, the local banker. I demand half my money by tomorrow, or I'll toss you out in the street. <laughs> uh, in that case, we're not home. What? Ugh, I shall be back tomorrow. Oh, and uh, by the way, you make really ugly shoes. <laughs> We're not home? You think he bought it? Probably not. No one ever buys anything around here. Mm, gee. I wonder why. Well, it could be because we make these really ugly shoes. Ugly? Why, these are the most beautiful shoes I've ever seen. Why, just oh. this week I bought six pair. Dear nephew, you are both kind and nearsighted, but since no one else will buy these shoes, all is lost. There's nothing more to do. Yes, there is. There is? We can wish for a miracle. Oh, but miracles just don't happen in the real world. But this is a fairy tale. You could have a point there. You call Mother Goose. I'll write to Santa. Then if the uh, Easter Bunny isn't on yes, vacation, yes, dear nephew, we can... We can do all those things tomorrow, but for now, let's just get some rest, okay? <laughs> I wonder if the Tooth Fairy knows anything about shoes. What was that? Oh, right. That was the sound of a miracle. That was the sound of... Elvis! Oh. That is not Elvis. Those are just oddly dressed elves come to help the shoemaker. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. All right, fellas. Let's take care of business. Mm. One, two, uh, one, two, three. Well, are you feeling unappealing because your feet won't work? When they play a bop and boogie, does your body start to jerk? Mm -hmm. How's the rock of a fever got such a tussle on hand? Shake it up, baby, make you feel all right. We got a special kind of level that'll play a little rhythm in your shoes. So listen to the news. Yeah, no more bad shoe blues. Any old rhythm you choose, you got your blue suede shoes. Bad, 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 bad shoes. Right. Uh -huh. Bad, bad, bad shoes. There's a little scissor gonna snip it like a snapping fool. Yeah. yeah, there's a little thimble gonna click it till the fit feels cool. Yeah. Well, you can rock it to the sock, you can play like a slater. And the way you cut it, gotta cut it out sweet. Now listen to the news. No more bad shoe blues. Any old rhythm you choose, you got your blue suede. Bad, bad, bad shoe blues. All right. Bad, bad, bad shoe blues. Well, now you got a new prescription, make your boogie all night. Uh -huh. Boogie in the basement till the broad daylight. Oh, yeah. Rock a billy baby, gonna shout hooray. You're the one to save her from a bad shoe deal. Bad shoe kind of leather, uh -huh. and put a little rhythm in your shoes. So listen. 
listen to the news for no more bad shoe blues any old rhythm you choose you got your blue suede shoes oh yeah that's right let's stitch it up fellas mercy oh baby thank you thank you very much Thank you. No, no, no. Thank you. Oh, I'd like to thank you. No, I'd like to thank the both of you. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, let's get out of yeah, here. Let's get out of here. That was wonderful. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the elves have left the building. Would you cut that out? <laughs> the next morning, the shoemaker and his nephew awoke to a most amazing discovery. Uncle! Dear uncle! Hmm? Come quick! Come quick! Uh, what is it, nephew? Look at all these beautiful blue, blue suede, suede shoes. shoes! How could that have happened? It's the miracle I asked for! Miracle? Could it be? And look! Customers! Customers? <laughs> that is a miracle! Yeah! Uh, uh, oh Welcome! Boy. Come uh, in! Come in, everybody! <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Uh, sure, yeah, try sure. it on. Uh, please. Oh, please. let me help. Be our guest. Yeah. Listen, Excuse could you... Excuse uh, me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, uh, you sure? yeah, those sure. are good choice, ma'am. Night fell. Ooh, very, very nice. Thank you. And when the last customers had left, ah! oh, every shoe in the what? shop had oh. been sold. <laughs> what are you put fooling around? Wow. Look at this money, dear mm -hmm. uncle. It's a miracle. Mm. It's a wonder. It's the banker. Mm. I'll be back tomorrow for the other half of my money. Hmm. Oh. But... Alas, we'll never come up with more money before tomorrow. We could wish for another miracle. Hmm? Then maybe whoever helped us last night will come back again tonight. Oh, yeah. And if they do, we'll be right here to find out who they are. The two tired frogs soon fell fast asleep. Oh. <sighs> But at exactly midnight, they awoke. Oh, what a wondrous sight they saw. Well, we'd like to dedicate these shoes to a couple of swell frogs. The shoemaker and his nephew, Robin. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Thank, well, well, well. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A one, a two, a one, two, three. and his nephew watched in amazement. The elves snipped and scissored and sang all through the night until the shoemaker's shop was once again filled with blue suede shoes. No, thank you. And when morning came, the shop was once again packed with a crowd of eager customers. Now, you sure you don't need that shoe on? Okay. You come back now. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, boy. We are rich! Mm -hmm. I'll take that. Hmm. Oh. Uh, we are poor. No, we're not, dear nephew, because I have been studying these blue suede shoes, and now I know how to make shoes that are not really ugly. Yay! Oh, nephew, those elves have been so very good to us, I think the time has come to thank them for their kindness. Oh, but what can we give them? Um, yeah, excuse me, uh, but why don't you... Uh... He's kidding, right? Boy, it sounds pretty neat to me. Oh, why not? Thank you. My pleasure. And so, the shoemaker and his nephew worked through the night, making a special gift with which to thank the elves. And when midnight came, and the elves arrived, they were met with a great big surprise! surprise! Oh, 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 heavens. Hey there, guys. Hey, listen, to thank you for all of your help, we've made you something very, very special. White sequin jumpsuits. Ta-da! Mercy! Oh, mercy! Whoa. Oh, look at that gold! Real polyester. Mm. Mine's got a cape. Oh, we just Ooh. guessed the sizes. Yeah. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Oh, this is oh, beautiful. This is... <laughs> white sequin jumpsuits? Yeah. Rizzo, white sequin jumpsuits are not in the story. They are now. You see, thanks to those elves, the shoemaker and his nephew lived happily ever after. Yes, but what about the elves? What happened to the elves? Well... 
Inspired by the white sequin jumpsuits, the elves decided to relocate to Las Vegas. Mm. And today, they are huge stars who play the big room at the palace. Two shows daily, no cover, no minimum. Well, now you got a new prescription, make your boogie all night. Uh -huh. Boogie in the basement till the ball delay. Oh, yeah. Rock a billy, baby, gonna shout hooray. You're the one to save her from a bad shoot day. You got a best kind of might even say the elves left shoe business for show business. <laughs> oh, Rizzo, you're unbelievable. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, friends, that's all for now. Until next time, so long! Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye. 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 See ya! Well, now you got a new prescription. Make your boogie all night. Uh -huh. Boogie in the basement till the ball delay. Oh, yeah. Rock a billy, baby, gonna shout hooray. You're the one to save her from a bad shoot day. You know the best kind of leather uh, and put a little rhythm uh, in your shoes. Yeah. So listen to the news. No more bad shoe blues. Any old rhythm you choose, you got your blue suede shoes. Oh, yeah. That's bad right. Let's stitch it up, fellas. Mercy. Oh, baby. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, no, no. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you down there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.